Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy. First the corporal works, and now the spiritual. Today, the sixth spiritual work of mercy, comforting the afflicted. As we discussed in the last two episodes, we should bear wrongs and forgive offenses, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be offered any consolation in the midst of the suffering that we endure from those offenses and wrongs. When a person is in pain and having difficulty, it can be a merciful act to help console them in the midst of their discomfort. There are a couple ways of doing this. First, in certain situations, we can help them to receive justice for the suffering they've had to endure. A parent, for example, can make one child apologize to another who he or she hit and resolve the conflict that caused the dispute. The same can be done by those working in law, police officers, judges, attorneys, even by school teachers, military commanders, and anyone else in a position of authority. In fact, any form of authority can bring with it the need to dispense justice. Often, though, there is nothing we can do to correct the underlying cause of the pain that a person has gone through, and our only way to comfort them is by doing something good for them, helping them with a task they want to complete, giving them something we know they'll like, even just spending time with them and listening to them as they suffer the physical and or emotional pain. However, keep in mind that the goal is to comfort them, to provide the consolation to help them find the strength to go on. It should not be our goal to try to force them to be happy again, or to attempt to cheer them up through being overly optimistic and cheery when they're obviously suffering. It's better to be more subdued around a suffering person, and to show respect for their pain, provided that that pain is real. As the scriptures say, Like the removal of clothes on a cold day, or vinegar on soda, is the one who sings to a troubled heart. Proverbs 25:20. 20. Next, why should we pray for the living? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.